Hello and welcome to McBunker Studios. In this video, I'm continuing my M32 edit series, and today I'm looking at the send section. So let's get right into it. Okay, so this is our send section in M32 edit. So let's just start left to right. First, we have this uh, global effects button. So th what this button does is when it's off, the changes made up here only affect the selected channel. When you turn it on, any changes made up here affect all of the channels. So if you click one of those, you'll see this window comes up asking if you want to change the global. I don't, I'm press cancel. And then you can flick back here and you can easily just switch and change. Pretty simple. Great. Um, so let's just go through this. So first, um, so these are our sends. Uh, these are our 16 buses. And here you can control each bus, or sometimes called bus matrix. So what you do, this is how much of this channel is sending to uh, this bus. Uh, right, so up here determines at what point from the channel does the signal go to the bus? And this is done in pairs, you can't do them separately. It's just how they've set it up. Same as the linking, like I mentioned in uh, my first video of this series. So first, we have our input. So as soon as it comes into the channel, it goes straight out to the bus. You use this if you wanted to, um, Say so maybe you want to send it to a second console for another mix or something that I've always been doing that, but this might be a way to do that. If you just want to send the channels, 16 of the channels straight to another mix um, and they can mix them right away, you can just send them direct, straight out, just the straight input at different volumes. You can do that. If you want to avoid all of the processing that goes on here, you can do that. Uh, if you just wanted to send the input straight away, there's a where you can do that in routing, which I'll show you in a later video. But if you just want to send the input without any of this processing, straight to a bus, you can still control volume, how much of an input you're sending, but that's when you select. Then you have pre-EQ, which gets you, um, brings us back to our uh, config page, or the channel page as to where EQ is. If you put dynamics before, obviously that affects the pre-EQ bus send, if you put it after, and this wouldn't go in the pre-EQ bus send, but this would. This always does. That button sort of changes whether the dynamics goes. So then you've got post-EQ, which is all of the processing except for the fader. Um, so the difference here is post-EQ and pre-fader are the same if dynamics is on one end, but... So then we've got pre-fader, and that means that the signal gets all of this processing and goes out just before the fader. So no matter what the fader's at, these faders down here, no matter what's at, what that's at, it'll go out um, the same. So no matter how you adjust your mainnet mix, it doesn't affect the bus. Then you've got post fader where it's affected by this fader down here. So if this is all the way up, bus will be louder. If it's all the way down, infinity, nothing will go through it. Then you've got your subgroup. Now this is completely different to all of the other ones. Subgroup, you don't get any fader. Unlike input, like subgroup, you don't get any fader. Goes through all the processing. This is a lot more similar to the DCAs, but in this case they're physically routed through the subgroup and then into the main mix, as opposed to the DCAs, they're routed straight to the main mix they're just digitally controlled through the DCAs. It's, uh, it's a little different, but they are, a subgroup is closest to a DCA. I don't use any subgroups, because um, I do like my DCAs, and I need all of my buses for mixes. But subgroups do let you apply some effects to the group, which you, well, effects and uh, like EQ and stuff, processing up here, which you can't do with a DCA. So that is that difference there. back so 
So I'm using here pre-fader is typically used for monitor mixes for a band and that sort of thing. So that no matter what you're doing in front of house, it doesn't affect them. Uh, post fader mixes are often used for effects or like an overflow or a live stream mix. Those are your options there. So this is uh, this is how to you can do some sense work here uh, and control sends. I turn this all the way up. See over here in the mixer tab that it's all the way up. This is another way of doing sends. That's all your sends there. You've got. Uh, I'm just doing that with the scroll wheel. It's a bit hard to control. So you've got your 16 bus sends there. You see this one's a bit different. I'll go back. This is an overflow. So on the other window, one channel represents volume and one represents pan. And that again, that's a, uh, that's a, you know, you can either, I'm on a, I have a magic mouse, so I'm doing on Mac, so I can do the side to side scroll or the up down scroll, either works. Um, so I'll go back to channel. I mean, go back to mixer. That's what that is there, the pan and the level of it. So that's another way to do the sends. I'm going to show you the uh, last way here. If I go back to this main page, here you have all your 16 buses on the side. So you can just press your first bus, put that all the way up, you'll see this guy travel up here. I can also go to sends, and you'll see the level change there. So that's the last way to do it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, that's all the ways of changing the buses in the console. Um, that's the, the, there are also three ways of doing it on the desk. So makes sense, three ways here, three ways there. Although they are slightly different on the desk. I'll go through that if I ever do a tutorial of the actual hardware desk. Now you can set this back to the main left, right. There you have it. We can switch back to a little view. So hopefully that's, you can also mute and turn buses on and off. But hopefully that's answered all your questions about uh, sends and uh, buses. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed that video. Hopefully that's, you know, answered lots of questions. If you do have any more questions, let me know in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. Subscribe and put on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload more of this series or other series. And uh, go do some audio.